All right, what's going on, guys? It's Tato, and today I'm reacting to Easy Mill. It's been a long time since I've actually done a video on this guy. Um, I think it's been over a year. I think. I think it's been about a year. Yeah. Um, he ended up coming out with a song with Eminem. I do remember saying at one point, saying how cool it would be to, you know, hear something like this. And we were finally given that. I did see that he uh, posted a photo of him, Eminem, and Dre on his Instagram. I think I actually reposted it. I reposted it on my story. Um, I was like, ooh, wouldn't it be cool if they actually made a song together? And they actually did. Um, I'm actually stoked to hear this. I I actually don't know what the fuck to expect. Uh, is it going to be like classic easy? Or is he going to go on like an old style hip hop beat here? Because I have no fucking clue. All right, let's go. That's really, really loud. Hold on. That's really loud. That's still very loud. Why is that so loud? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I actually think Easy might hold his own on this one, bruh. Holy shit. Easy, if you're gonna hold your own on a fucking Eminem track, that, that's insane. Because almost nobody does. God damn. I can't even, like, process everything because it's going so fast. <laughs> Let me go back just a little bit here. It, it it's flying by like so fast that I literally can't even like comprehend it in my mind. I can't process it. <laughs> I'm trying to like listen to like the flows and the cadences while also trying to pay attention to you know what he's saying, and it it's so hard. It's so hard with this dude. Always has been. Um, ever since I started doing these videos on him, it's always it's always been hard because he just he goes so quick. He's so skilled. The hook is a uh, the hook is unique. It's a very unique hook. I will I will say that that I I didn't realize that was the hook at first. So I never that's why I didn't say anything. That's the hook. Okay. It's a little. It it's it's something that he would do. It's something that Easy Mill would do. So it's unique. <laughs> it's not something you normally hear on something that's mainstream. His, everything from his mixing to his bars to the way he flows and the way he rides the beat, it's all unique, and that's something that is not really seen with a lot of artists. I mean, there's some that are like that, but he I don't know. He's just different. He's just completely different from everybody else. I don't understand what it is. I guess well, I did hear some of the some of the lyrics that he was saying. He was saying that that fuck a top spot, I'm in my own lane. So I mean, that's kind of what, yeah. You, I can't really throw him into any sort of category when it comes to like hip, like hip hop style. I can't throw him into any sort of category. It's so he's just such a unique artist. Mm -hmm. 
Well, so far he's held his own. I've got a feeling that M's gonna steal the show, though. Guess I've really no right to complain much. Uh, Hip hop has been good to me, huh? Well, but when they say that I'm only top five, because I'm white, why would I be stunned? Uh, Must be mm. working against me. Because second, I should be the none. Uh, Being white ain't why they put me at five. Nope, it's why they can't put me at one. <laughs> They're coming with more fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's good. That's a good bar, bro. <laughs> Damn. He hasn't said something like that in a long time. Usually he would uh, use the uh, the skin color thing. Like I think a lot of times when in like in, like in his older songs, I feel like. But damn, okay, that's a reality check right there for a lot of people not putting him in number one. He's like the reason why they're not putting you know. It's not the reason my skin color isn't the reason why they put me at the top five. It's, it's the reason why they're not putting me at number one. Damn. Let me hear that again. Top five, cause I'm white. Why would I be playing much? Uh, Hip hop has been good to me, huh? Well, but when they say that I'm only top five, cause I'm white, why would I be stunned? Uh, My skin color's still working against me. What? Cause second, I should be the none. Uh, Being white ain't why they put me at five. Nope, it's why they can't put me at one. <laughs> They're coming with more fin. I'm calling out like the. <laughs> the fucking. Uh. The gatekeepers, the fucking, you know, the racists, the the, the, the the racist motherfuckers and the fucking gatekeepers. That's one thing I'm not going to get into too much, but it pisses me off more than anything because I'll react to or I'd, I'd look at and react to like different artists and stuff like that. And I'd post it on TikTok, right? I post clips of it. And then there's these people that will go in there like, he's a culture vulture. He's stealing the culture. Ah, like what? Music is art. It's not pertained to one race or one culture. It's all over. You're allowed to try new things. Why are people so fucking, you know, pent up with the 10 foot pull up their ass about what your fucking skin color is? I don't I don't get it. I mean, God, and then I call I called them out on being I actually this is a, this is a specific instance. I'm not really going to go much past this than, than just saying this besides this one little interaction that I had. But. I basically called him a racist and a gatekeeper, and he said, "No, we gotta purpose, we gotta preserve the culture of hip hop." And I'm like, "Huh?" He's like, "Hip hop is black music." I'm like, "Huh? Music is music." Just like I've seen black country artists. We ain't going around calling that white music. Have you seen what is it? Uh, there, it's a it's a new band that just came around. I think it's Ghost Train. Go Ghost something. I'll I'll look them up. I think they're on the I think they're on the CMA Fest or something like that, but they're pretty good. The lead singer's black. He's awesome. Um, uh, no, another one, Kevin Smiley. That's another one. Like, absolutely fucking awesome. I like. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter about race. It really doesn't. We're not going around calling the the, the white rednecks aren't going around calling uh, country music white music and gatekeeping it like some of y'all are uh, with the hip hop music. I just think it's ridiculous. It's a very, very small minority that does it, but it, it still pisses me off. <laughs> Top five, cause I'm white, why would I be stunned? My skin color's still working against me. Cause second, I should be the none. Being white ain't why they put me at five. Nope, it's why they can't they put, put me, me at one. one. They're coming with more venom, so the haters I'm aiming it toward them. And all the envious rappers I torch if I'm on a joint with them. And that is the only retort, is I'm not played in the club. Motherfucker put a cork in it. Only reason they still play your shit in the club is cause you still perform in them. Oh, to a mansion. Germany, France, and Japan's in this bitch, even Dubai. Because my music, they do buy. You died trying to sign just two side guys. Just could not unscrew my head up the blue eyed devil. I never. Oh! Oh my god! Dude, his wordplay isn't. Oh my god, I forgot about it. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about him. I forgot about him and M, bro. How good his fucking wordplay actually is. Nobody's on his level. Holy shit. Oh my god. Mansion, death and expansion, made it gargantuan. England, Germany, France, and Japan's in this bitch, even Dubai, because my music they do buy. You yeah, and even even in Dubai, because my music they do buy. And then he said something about then you die trying to uh, after scientists, two side guys, just France and Japan's in this bitch, even Dubai, because my music they do buy. You die trying to scientists, two side guys, just could not unscrew my head up the blue. Okay, basically saying you got screwed over by signing to a label, and then you died. Like. Oh, I guess that's like a metaphorical thing. Um, but yeah, he basically the basically saying that you got screwed over by signing to a label. Well, I never quit. 
or signed to like a big like a big mainstream label. Gen Z is acting like rap experts. Sip up the gaps and close your mouths. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't been on this planet long enough to tell me how rap's supposed to sound. Oh my god. Oh, taking a shot square at my fucking generation, bro. That's perfect, though. I fucking hate my generation, to be honest, because, you know, I'd, I'd much rather listen to shit like this than to listen to that fucking. Okay. I think most of it's trash. Just like the new Travis Scott album. That shit was trash, except for like two songs. Two songs were good on it out of the entire fucking album, and I was just like, mm. shit was garbage. A lot of hip hop shit's garbage. Playboy Cardi's garbage. Fucking Lil Uzi Vert's new album was just straight fucking trash. And people were calling it a masterpiece. I don't know. I, I, no, actually, it wasn't that many people that were calling it that because it was it was just bad. I don't understand a lot of the fucking crazy shit and I, it, the stupid, stupid ass mainstream hip hop. That's just terrible. I don't know why people listen to it. My generation likes to listen to it, and I'm like, I don't, I don't see the appeal. Never really have. Give me some Kid Rock, give me some Eminem, give me some fucking Easy Mill here and there, too. Um, he held his own. I'll say that. Holy shit. Actually, I want to go back and listen to, listen to the Gen Z thing again, though. Speaking before my mother's water broke, it's not even close, you bitch, my father go. Gen Z is acting like rap experts, sip up the gaps and close your mouths. Yeah. Bitch, you ain't been on this planet long enough to tell me how rap's supposed to sound. Y'all need to stick to what you do best, shooting schools up, yeah. Go load up rounds in your parents' gaps and go to class and let off at the strap and go to town. Shout to the Furious Five and Grandmaster Flash, but boy. Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh my god. Gen Z be acting like the rap experts, but shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Stick to shooting up schools. Oh my god. Uh, what? Okay. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I need to hear that again. Y'all need to stick to what you do best. Shooting schools up, yeah. Go load up rounds in your parents' gaps and go to class and let off at the strap and go to town. Shout to the Furious Five and Grandmaster Flash, but boy, boy, there's someone who really is furious. Stay out his path, his wrath avoid. And I'll be the last to toy with a true set whose brain is like half destroyed, like a meteor hit it. Well, then went Melly Mel. We lost his asteroid scams. God was like, I got him, but I'm gonna start him at the bottom of the barrel. Brought him in the world where the mother wasn't valuing him. His father was a coward. Taught him as a child when the fucking body was around. How to get himself up and out of poverty. And now, not even a growl in his stomach. Gotta be a hound. So they put your body in the ground. Probably gonna sound like a cliche, but when haters try to get you down, say, fuck him, cause I'm the realest in the business. And everybody gonna be envious. So I'm the I'm just playing Gen Z. You know I love you. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh, that the <laughs> that was good. That was good. I will say M did steal the show on that one, but Easy definitely held his own. Well, he kind of he kind of held his own on a track that was impossible to hold his own in, so that's that that's pretty damn good. I couldn't catch a lot of his bars though; they weren't super super clear because he was rapping so fast. But Eminem though, whew, God damn! Hold up, let me like this real quick. Oh, I should I should have listened to this earlier. When did it come out? Oh god, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to stream. When did this come out? Three days ago. I should have done it in the first 24 hours. I saw it, I saw it pop up, and I just never got around to listening to it. But that shit was fire. Oh my god. And I'm I'm actually happy I don't listen to it on my own. Because holy shit. I did not expect that. <laughs> Then again, I never know what to expect from either of these guys. Like I'll go and listen. Sometimes I'll go and listen to new light, like uh, new M tracks or new uh, Easy Mill tracks, and I usually just never know what to expect. So 
I thought they did their thing. And I, it's weird hearing Eminem on this kind of a beat because it kind of had like a, it was it felt it felt like a crossover. It truly did. If the, the, the whole the whole track kind of felt like one, the beat itself was something like a mix between an easy meal beat and something that Eminem would do or something that Dre would do. So uh, that shit was awesome. Um, and congrats, and congrats to Easy Mill for actually getting a song with Eminem. That's that's sick as fuck. I knew it was coming at some point. I knew it was going to happen. Two years ago, I knew it was going to happen. And it f- finally showed up. It's finally here. And it didn't disappoint. Anyways, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.